good morning guys how are we doing so as you can see it is so 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 early in the morning i've just brushed my teeth i look so tired that is because i am so i wake up early because i have quite a few things i need to get done today before the work day actually starts and so i want to make sure that i get them done really early in the morning i could then go and start getting myself ready for my holiday oh. guys i am off on holiday soon so i want to start doing my prep and so i want to get all like my admin -y bits that i need to get done in the morning and then obviously i have my work day and then once i log off work go and get some of my beauty stuff done so one of the things i need to get done today is i need to get a wax because your girl is struggling and i have to get wax quite frequently more so because i have a condition and the condition flares up or gets worse if there's more hair than it would do if there was no hair and because i exercise a lot and i sweat that's just me i'm a sweaty girl that's just what happens and so then sweat hair and i'm thick so things rub it's just not a good environment and i have the energy for it so to stop it from happening i get wax so that's the plan i'm gonna get wax today and then i need to do some shopping oh guys i'm so excited it's so early and i slept like a baby i haven't had such a good night's sleep in so long and because i slept so well waking up this morning wasn't as much of a struggle like i was actually able to get up after like six hours of sleep which has been hard for the last couple of weeks but anyway let me get some gym clothes on and let me go do a workout and I've also gotten down a to-do list of everything that I need to get done all the most important things I need to get done today so I'm just going to work through that throughout the day obviously I work my box standard nine to five so I'm going to try and get as much of it done before I start my work some of my to-do list stuff is actually to do with work so those things I'll do during the work day but yeah it's been really nice just to relax and chill and have like a very quiet morning to get myself ready for a productive day basically i'm just about to start doing one of my new habits i'm incorporating into my life right now which is basically reading 10 pages a day for those of you who don't know i don't drive that's something i want to do i want to drive it's been a long time coming i am a grown woman and so I need to start really taking it seriously and learn how to drive. Especially now that the things that I want to do with my life requires me to have a vehicle of some sort. So I need to pass a test so that I could drive said vehicle. So when it actually comes to my reading of my 10 pages a day, I'm actually just going to be going through the app and I'm going to put a timer on for 15 minutes and I'm just gonna go through it for 15 minutes and read. But yeah, I'm excited. I really, really want to learn how to drive, guys. And to be fair, my family doesn't even know this. They're gonna find out from this video. I actually have a severe fear of cars. I don't actually like cars or being in cars. If I can avoid it, I will. And this just kind of goes back to like a long time ago when I first went to Korea in 2016 and I was in a really bad car crash but I can find the images of what happened and I will and I put it here but since then I haven't liked cars most of the time anytime you see me in a car do you know those little things that you hang or like hold on the side I will be holding them because I just do not like being in cars it scares me if I'm being completely honest I don't want to say that's the reason that's been delaying me there's been other factors of course and then additionally something has happened at the beginning of this year which has not helped 
my fear of cars but I know that it's something I need to overcome I know that I need to drive because I am a grown 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 28 year old woman I need to learn how to drive because of all the things I want to do for the remainder of the year I feel like life would be easier if I drove so that's what I'm gonna do right now so I'm gonna put my timer on for 15 minutes all right I got my timer going So it is currently lunchtime and I'm going to head down and get myself some eggs from M&S. I really want some bacon and eggs for lunch so I'm going to go do that now and then I might get a bit of a walk in seeing how much I can get done because I need to be back online for one just because I have a call with somebody to see whether or not I can help them with some work because I'm a bit freer right now because I just finished a major project. That's basically it. I just wanted to come on and give you guys an update. I also just had a long conversation with my sister because we have updates about what we want to get done in the day and just making sure that we're on track with that. Um, I also need to ask her about some things because we are moving again. Because I'm always moving. Oh, guys, honestly, renting in London is a madness. Like, I'm tired of moving constantly. Um, there'll be a full-on video on our whole London apartment hunting. That's basically what I spoke to her about, was just trying to figure out our next move. But yeah, let me go and get some food so I can come back and work on my other things I want to do before I have to go on this call at one. Wanna fill your room up with some roses While staring those eyes can I stand down Trust me, this not just a phase. If it goes well, then hey guys, so I'm back for my little shopping trip. So, obviously, I just picked up myself some eggs from MS, and then I have been craving kimchi. And I feel like it just adds flavor to like any meal that you want, and it doesn't have too many calories. So, this is my favorite brand, which is Bibigo, I think so I pronounce it absolutely love it this is what i would always eat when i was in korea and so i picked up some because there's a korean supermarket not too far and it was only like what 279 for this whole big bag of 500 grams because i'm only in this space for a few days i didn't want to buy a massive packet and i know i'm gonna finish that like in the next two days because i absolutely love kimchi so i'm gonna cook myself some food i'm starving and then we get back to work I don't like to love, love. currently just working on some bits and bobs for this thing. To be fair, I think I can let you guys know what we're doing. So my sister and I are currently in the process of creating a concierge service in Nigeria. For those of you who don't know, we're Nigerian and we tend to go back to Nigeria at least once a year. And we basically want to create a system that makes life easy for people. If anyone goes to Nigeria, especially during the day December period, then you know how difficult it is to do box standard things, i.e. your hair, your lashes, your nails, find the right club. If you don't have a plug, will you have a good time? That sort of thing. And so we're basically creating a system or a service that sorts that out all for you. My camera battery is gonna die, so two seconds, let me just switch out. 
So that's basically what I'm doing at the moment. I've only got a few more minutes, so I'm just quickly going through the website because I have been tasked to create it. And this is stuff that I actually really like doing. I really do love being able to explore my creative side. I'm giving it my best shot because I feel like a website just makes everything seamless. I'm doing it via Canva and I swear by Canva, I live by Canva. Canva is basically my bread and butter for everything. There is the free version, but if you're not here for the free version and you want a bit more pizzazz, a bit more flair, like myself, I would suggest that you get the pro. It just opens you up for more opportunities in terms of what you can do on Canva. That's what I'm using to create the website. I'm taking social media and video editing a bit more seriously this year. We've hit a thousand subscribers and guys, honestly, thank you so much. Don't think you guys really understand how much I really do appreciate all your support. Hitting the thousand subscribers, which we got on my birthday, I'll insert the message that Chili even sent to me, which is like, this is an early birthday present. Bear in mind, I've been doing this for 12 years and it's only recently that we actually started taking it a bit more seriously. And I said, you know what? This is giving me motivation to push myself when it comes to YouTube and push myself when it comes to doing things outside of work that provide me joy. I actually really do like social media. I actually really do like filming YouTube. I actually really do like video editing. And not even for the monetary aspect, bear in mind guys, I've been doing this for like 12 years. And obviously I haven't had a thousand subscribers so I haven't reached that benchmark to get paid. This is purely because I enjoy doing it. I don't think you'd be able to do YouTube for so long if you didn't enjoy it, just for the sake of doing it. You haven't been monetized, but the fact that we've got a thousand subscribers makes me want to hit 2,000, makes me want to hit 3,000. Will we get monetized? I don't know. Like, I will manifest it. When I'm talking to your eyes in front of the camera, I'm happy. I get to just explore new things, try out new editing style. I do enjoy it. I have rambled on long enough. I don't actually understand where that tangent was going. Will I keep the tangent in? Who knows? Most likely. We'll see. But let me quickly do what I'm doing. Hi guys. So I finished my haul. But yeah, the call was already good. It finished a lot quicker than I anticipated. So I've just got some things I need to clear off my desk. I need to finish a form for something that I think it's just because I took too long, it's expired. Ah, so I was working on a form before my call and now it's expired so I have to redo it again. I'll just redo it. But it's not like a crazy heavy day, it's just a call heavy day, if that makes any sense. Hey T squad, so I am obviously back on camera. It's been a few hours. I basically spent the rest of the afternoon just doing some work and bits and bobs. So I didn't really bring up the camera to show what I was doing exactly because I just wanted to get really into the nitty gritty of it and just get it done. So right now it's just after five. So I'm heading off to the gym to get in a workout. As you can see, I've changed into one of my women's best outfits. I will link the set that I got down below. Yes, I know it's black up here and white here, but I ordered it, it's too late to return it. And obviously I've worn it many a time, so it is what it is at this point. But I really like it. This one holds me in a bit more, so it lets me do more movements, um, which I need because I'm doing a leg day today. And my aim is to go heavy. So I'm gonna quickly go do my work at come back. I'm probably gonna go straight into the shower because I need to hair removal my legs because they are at the point of no return. But I will check in with you guys either before I head over to the co-working space to get some more work done for the evening or when I'm in the co-working space. I'll see how I feel. But I just wanted to come on camera and update you guys with the vibe. Let's go and do a workout. For those of you who don't know, I do Airbnb on the side with my sister and 
sometimes you do get some guests who are a bit somehow we had recently had a guest who was definitely difficult i think one of the worst guests that we've experienced in a very long time and so i'm just on the phone with them trying to solve for the situation it's a bit long sometimes this is the reality of doing airbnb don't get me wrong i do enjoy it and i do want to see myself grow and excel in it but sometimes like with any business you just have bad or like not amazing customers basically unfortunately this guest that we've had is one of them i'm not quite sure how long i'm going to be on the phone for i didn't anticipate that i'll be on the phone at all for airbnb tonight but it comes part and parcel with the role so guys wish me luck hopefully i can be done within the next half an hour because i have a lot of things i need to get done and i can't spend my time on the phone with airbnb i've got too many things on my plate oh god i'm so tired anyway i will check in with you guys hopefully when we've come to a resolution and the situation is resolved hi guys so as you can see i am back home i'm really liking this like sitting down just on the floor speaking to you guys i don't know what about it but i just love the vibe of a couch behind me and i'm just really sitting down and just laying it all out so as you can tell i'm home today has been a very long day i've been up since five obviously you saw me wake up and you've kind of seen what i do on a typical working from home day there was a lot I had to get done today, mind you, but yeah, I'm home. And if you made it to the end of this vlog, thank you so much. I'm really enjoying the videos I'm creating these days and it just fills me so much joy knowing that a thousand of you have subscribed and are interested in what my sister and I put out. Like, honestly, I don't think you guys really understand how appreciative i am with the fact that we have a thousand subscribers and it's only really recently in the last couple of months that i started taking a bit more seriously in just putting out content more so because i'm just enjoying where i am in life right now and so i'm more confident and happier with filming but guys i don't know why i'm just in such a happy mood if you did watch a few vlogs back i did mention that i have been struggling these last couple of months and it's just now i'm finally getting back to feeling myself i'm not crying or breaking down as much but yeah i haven't been this happy in a very long time i think it's because i'm taking youtube more seriously i'm taking social media more seriously i'm getting back into the groove of work and just really taking the time and working on on me and that is waking up early that is having a set morning routine where I'm making sure I go to the gym I'm making sure if I'm not going to the gym I'm hitting at least 10,000 steps a day and just going outside even if it's cold I'm going outside I'm getting outside I'm not gonna remain in the same vicinity for a long period of time I'm also trying to read more more so because I want to drive your girl don't drive being a bit more conscious with what I'm eating. Don't get me wrong, these last couple of weeks I have been drinking alcohol for the gods. I already said it. It was my birthday not too long ago, so yes, I've been drinking every single weekend for the past month. Isn't good, but I've had fun, I've met up with friends, I've enjoyed myself, so I'm not gonna be upset by it, but I need to do better. I can't be drinking at my big, big age. No. But anyway, if you haven't made it to the end of this video, I'm gonna be one of those people just like, say, drop an emoji in the comments, and I don't know what emoji I want. Because it's a working from home video, or working from home productive day in my life type of video, and I work in tech, drop an emoji of a laptop down in the comments. It will help us with the engagement and reaching more people. Anyway, that is a long-winded way of closing off this vlog. Honestly, guys, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate you all. I really do. I don't think you guys really understand how much this is helping me. I thank you for that. I am going to close off the vlog here. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you like this type of videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.